Hey everyone, welcome to the Event Time video tutorial series. Uh, today in video number 11, uh, we're going to show you how to sync events via our Google Calendar. So let's jump right in to the WordPress dashboard. We're going to go to the My Event Time settings and the Sync Events tab, which I'm currently at, but I'll reload it. Um, we're going to go to Google Calendar. And I'm going to erase these keys for now, just so we can start from fresh. Um, step number one, you want to click on this uh, text that says this wizard. It actually opens the developer um, page. If you haven't signed up to have this uh, access to the Google APIs, you'll need to do that with your Google account. It's pretty simple. Um, assuming you're already at this step, we're going to uh, make sure this tab says create a project. You can see some I've already done, but create a project and we're going to hit continue. It takes a few minutes to do. Uh, you'll see creating my project. And I'm a little impatient. I don't want to wait five minutes for this. So I'm going to drop on the notifications here on the side. It's loading this uh, project. And since we're at this project now, the actual name for it is Calmbrook136623. Uh, yours will be a random name, but that's what mine is currently. Uh, what we need to do now from this page is click credentials on the left hand side and I want to click on the drop down that says create credentials and then click API key. Now in the next little pop up here we need to make sure we click browser key and you can leave that default or we can just call it calendar sync whatever you want to do. Uh, you can put a date on it to make sure you know that's the one that you uh, already synced or uh, whatever, however you feel you need to identify that. Uh, this field is an optional field uh, for accepting requests from the HTTP referrers. I'm leaving that blank. I don't, I'm not worrying about that. I just need my API key. Hit create and then instantly your API key is popped up. You want to copy that key. You can see here as well the keys are also stored on this page. Uh, let's go back to our event on page where it's asking for our API key. We're going to paste that in, make sure there's no spaces at the end of it. And now we need the calendar ID to catch the events from the calendar. Uh, this is important. You need to make sure the calendar that you're sharing is public uh, and not private. Therefore, the API key can reach out to it and pull the events. Um, you'll notice here I have added to my calendar the holidays in the United States uh, events. So with that being a public calendar, I'm going to drop down with a select drop down and choose calendar settings. And then you'll notice here, I can rename it however I want to show, but I'm only interested in grabbing the calendar ID. Uh, it's after the, after the text there, it starts with EN, which stands for English and ends with .com. So let's copy that. Let's cancel back out of there. Um, let's go back to our syncs tab and paste that ID in and we have the new key and the new ID for the calendar and we're going to hit save changes. Now we want to go to fetch events and we're going to click fetch events from Google Calendar and you'll see here I have never imported any of these events. I've actually erased all the events in my calendar for this demo uh, video. You've got all the events here, events, event names, starting time, and the dates. I want to go ahead and check mark whichever ones I want to import. So let's see, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 random events. Um, I could sync already imported events, meaning it would uh, bring in the ones I've already done, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to worry about that. So let's click next import selected events. And there we go. We imported the 15 events. And if we want to, we can click on our events tab. And we can see since I had zero events before, there's all the events that I imported. Kind of cool. 15 of them that I checked. And there's all the dates and starting times. Pretty cool. 
If you guys have any more questions, please uh, join our help desk at um, helpdesk.ashanj.com. Thank you.